Hey guys, it's April Holly Smith and this is for my daily vlog, which you know because you're watching it. So clearly I am not at home and I am in fabulous natural light. I look so much better in it. It's, it's, I'm in the jungle of Southeast Asia. No, not really. I'm at my mom's house. She has a, a, a giant stand of bamboo. So it's like very green out. And considering it's like the first week in February, things are really green around here. So came over to my mom's house to fix her printer and just to put it back on the network, which we got done like that. Yay. It's always good when technical stuff like goes fast. So say hi. Say hi. Hi. So we are going to go to the thrift store. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again. No knitting needles today. <laughs> <laughs> so, un so unfortunately for you, but quite fortunately for me, there will be no stabbing in this video. <laughs> okay, so we made it to the thrift store. I had a really bad issue with the sound here, so I'm talking to you again. We are going to go ahead and get out of the car and head in and see what's crack a at the store today. Got my purse, get my mom organized, gonna get this door locked. All right, so here we are. We're at the Salvation Army Family Store. It's the thrift store, and guess what? It is Wednesday, and do you see why Wednesday is the best day ever? That's right, it's 50% off day because not only am I cheap that I go to the thrift store, I only go on 50% off day. That is $7.95 and it's yellow so it's full price. So let's do a pan. It's a huge store. Huge. Got some super pretty formal dresses. Not in the market for these, but also I'm not thin enough to wear most of them. But it's pretty stuff. So I'm at Aldi's, as I'm sure you see. I have to go get another loaf of bread because apparently we're out. Isn't that awesome? That'll be the fourth loaf. But I did have like six dollars left over out of my budget, so it's no big deal. But it's a long walk. So Aldi's happens to be right next door to the thrift store. Danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Okay, so I'm still in the parking lot of Aldi's with mom. She is, we're fixing to get going and because she's got to go to work this morning. But I spent $15 and like 68 cents or 63 cents at Goodwill. And I'm going to go ahead and get my stuff together and try to do one of those try on hauls. Because I feel like it just isn't as good if you don't see the clothes on. It's like the same way when you're buying it. If you don't put it on, mm -mm. Also, I finally synced my Fitbit steps. I got 1,700 steps this morning already, which considering it's 1043 is not that much. But that's because I didn't spend 30 minutes on the treadmill. And I just did like, oh, sorry, slow walks around the, um, the store. You know, one step, two step, one step, two step. So we're off to head home. Okay, so I have uh, lunch on the stove. Woo! I got a different camera because the sound on my iPhone is really terrible and it's very hit or miss. And I recorded this like three times with this horrible static. So I'm not gonna pick you up, sweetheart. Um, we are going to, cause you're really heavy and I need to carry this. Um, this is what we're having. It's kielbasa rice. It'll look better when I have it plated. So I'm going to get this plated up and I will show it to you when it's done. Okay, so this is our kielbasa rice that we're having for lunch. It is one rope of kielbasa that was from Aldi's. I had it left in the freezer and it's the oldest thing I had. So $2. I used 50 cents, not even that, maybe 10 cents worth of rice from the Dollar Tree in one packet of mixed vegetables from Save-A-Lot for this meal. Um, I just used one cup of rice. So this is a very cheap meal. It is super delicious. I made it right on the stovetop. I call it a, a, a skillet casserole because it's like one pan and it's kind of like a casserole except no sauce. But that's what we're having for lunch or dinner. 
Okay, and then I want to show you here, um, we have a ton of leftover um, after I plated everyone's food. Stay back. Watch out. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Uh, get back, honey. Back. Evelyn, stop. I can't show them my outfit if you're here all the time. Is it going to go off for me? Come here. You're in the way. Hey guys, I'm just doing a quick wrap up for my daily vlog. You can see, that's Chris. <laughs> um, I'm going to do my Fitbit update here. So I have an accurate one for you, um, or an up-to-date one at least. Um, had a great day. I totally forgot to weigh myself this morning, so I don't have a report on that. My calories, I'm 100% going to be under today. Yesterday, I was over by... Not that much, um, 117, which isn't that bad. It's not the end of the world, but like already tonight, I'm going to be under like 367 calories. So I'm going to be under today and I'm going to be under enough to make up for yesterday. So that's where we're at. Um, and my step count as of right now, which is 758 in the evening, 10,113. And hey, I just wanted to say hi to Paula. Yay, thanks for joining me on our Fitbit journey. I'm super excited to have you on board as a Fitbit friend and to do some goal days with you. Just want to say thanks for watching. Of course, I totally want you to click on that like. I appreciate that. If you enjoyed any part of this, give me the thumbs up. I appreciate that. Um, please click subscribe. I'm doing the daily vlogs for a little while to see how they go. But I still do all of my financial blogging or my financial videos and I do um, all of my grocery hauls and budgeting with that associated thing. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. <gasps> Gotta find the button.